Domestic violence landed them in jail, but the men you're about to meet say they've changed. Damon Fernandez has a rare look inside a program hoping to stop the cycle of abuse. Has everyone signed in? Make sure you sign in so you can get credit for it. Today we're going to be talking about negotiation and fairness. Every Tuesday morning, counseling and guidance is part of the plan for some inmates in Dallas County Jail. Not all about us, about us. Here, men locked up in the jail's batterers pod are having real and raw conversations about their history of family violence. Can someone give me an example of what negotiation is? Social workers from the family place lead these sessions called BIP, or Batterers Intervention and Prevention Program. And we got a rare opportunity to spend some time with inmates inside this dorm and observe how they're working toward rehabilitation. Well, I got sent to Dallas County for uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. 25-year-old Jose Chagoya is one of the youngest guys we saw in the BIP program. The father of two told me fights with his significant other landed him in Laka. Before any domestic issue happens, you, you, you see the precursors to it. You'll, you'll be arguing or there'll be attitude. And the thing is, what we learned with this group is to notice those. The men in the jail's BIP program say they want to be in this class. I've learned how to uh, agree to disagree. This group explained their choices outside these walls now have them housed in a pod with more than 60 inmates facing a variety of family violence charges. Was that overwhelming to you guys? Yes, you can't believe how I many people getting charged with a similar case. There are 24 weeks of classes, all geared at helping identify and change problem behavior. Family violence is out of control. Ladarius Davis is a Marine Corps vet who's been serving time here 16 months. Okay. He's become one of the most vocal in his classes. Davis told me he's focused on improving relationships. I'll be able to teach my children some things before I get to, to something of this nature and you'll be on this side like your father is. One thing everyone knows and made sure to share, breaking the cycle of aggression or abuse isn't easy. It's not the, it's it's not not the key That's because right. You see what we had because we're not using our head. Many of these guys shared they grew up in homes where they saw loved ones fight and figured it was the norm. And I know this here, something's got to change. Something's got to. And what were you trying to accomplish? But it's time on Tuesdays facing the truth about how they got here. Get help. I know that's the cliche to say. Um, um, if you know that you have those issues, you know that you have those issues before anybody else does before you get with that woman. I mean, if you know jail those issues, then then start trying to get some help. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.